If this is a video, um, this is Corel CAD is is a new software, a new CAD software, and I'm not really familiar with it yet. Um, I'm familiar with AutoCAD, but Corel CAD I'm still starting to learn. Um, I can see the difference between the two AutoCAD and Corel CAD. There are slight difference, but very minimal, and the the commands are similar and um, but anyway uh, here's my first attempt in in um, drawing uh, like I'm going to draw uh, a rim a rim of the car or the, for the wheels and uh, so I'm just going to play around with it and see how it goes so the icons here and so this is not a tutorial I'm just going to go faster and i won't explain how i do it i might be explaining it uh, a little bit faster but since this is i want to try the the software so i'm going to go a little bit faster so okay so first of all i want a white screen um, so i wanted a white screen so that i feel like i'm a i'm in a graphic software uh, so I'm just going to go to right mouse click and I go to options and I go to my system options and click on display I go to elements and color and I'll look for model background because that's black so I'll make it white and then I'll click OK so now it's white and now right now I don't need a property bar okay so the property dialog box so I'm just gonna close that one and for now okay so now I'm just going to click on my yeah circle just going to do that I'm just going to make a circle again and then I want to go to the center I'm just going to go to the center here and make another circle there and another circle okay I know sometimes it snaps to another circle so the best thing there I think is to zoom in and then click on a circle and then find the center and then I'll say I'm gonna go that way and then I'll probably need another one so I'll go to my circle find the center point click and then there you go. So zooming out, I like the zooming out and zooming in in, in Corel CAD because you're gonna just gonna use your your middle scroll button in your mouse, which is uh, really good. And I noticed too when I was playing around with it, like uh, if you have um, a mouse with a scroll scroll button, if you press that, it changes to pan and zoom. Which is really good because you go zooming in like this and then press the scroll button and then you can pan very nice I also like it here when you hit right mouse click and then you go to zoom okay and then another right mouse click and then you can see here you got more options for zoom so zoom fit and then hit escape escape is just to end the command Okay, so where am I? So I've got that one, so I probably need another circle here. So another circle. And there. And maybe another circle. And uh, I like it too, because even though I'm creating a circle like that, and then since I have a scroll button in my mouse, I scroll in. See, it's zooming in still. I really like that, because... Uh, even though I'm not set in my circle yet, but still I can zoom in, zoom out. So I'm just going to click there, and then right mouse click, zoom, right mouse click, zoom to fit. There you go. Okay, now, okay, so, so I'm just going to pan, hit escape to enter. Oops, I forgot to zoom in, zoom to fit again. Okay, so I'm, I'm actually ready to draw the circles here. Okay, so, 
So I'm going to create a circle, uh, another circle from here. Okay, so I'm gonna click on there. Okay, so maybe I'll just, okay, I think that's fine. So I'll click on this one. So what I'll do, I like another option here is this one here, the patterns. So in patterns, uh, I'll just do it first since you would understand um, uh, how to use the pattern. So I click on patterns and then here I want circular, okay? And then I want, I want not angle 90 degrees. I want the whole, sorry, the whole 360. So if I click on fill angle to the total number of elements, so I go eight elements. Uh, see, it's 270, so this one should be 360. So it's all around there, that's good. This is very good, I like this preview. Um, this preview here, so you you really know already what's gonna happen. So you're gonna have the, those objects, it's the circles, right? And I've got eight numbers, and it will fill the whole 360 degrees. Now this option too is important, uh, this one here, the axis. So the axis of where it will, the axis of the movement. So I click on this one here, okay? And then in the command window, it says specify pattern center point. So I'm going to look for the axis. I'm gonna use this one as my center, click. And another option too, which I really like is, um, is the preview, but we can't preview it because Corel CAD is asking what kind of object, what objects do you wanna distribute around the 360 degree angle. So I click on select entities. Entities actually is like objects. So click on that one and then I'll click on the circle and then hit enter. It's just confirming that's the one that I wanted. And then I click on preview. There you go. Very nice. If you look at it, very nice. So click. It's not doing it yet because we just preview it, right? So now if I click OK, then it's going to do it. There you go. Very nice. Okay, so what I like here too is the trim command. So if I click on trim, okay. Now, I don't need to select all the trim object. I would just hit enter. Okay, so hit enter. And then command, la command window says which are the objects that I want to remove. So I'll just click on this, this. Very nice. I, I, like, I like it fast. There. My feeling is like I'm, I'm not doing it in a, a CAD software. I'm like doing it in a graphics software. I remember Corel Draw, like doing it in Corel Draw. That's why the screen I wanted to be white, so it would match the Corel Draw interface. Anyway, so I'm done with that one. Now, now I'm going to draw the bigger circle here. So I'm going to click on the circle tool again. Find the center, click, and then I would say, uh, let's say like that. Okay, so I'm going to make another circle. And let's say here, let's just say like that. Okay, let's say like that. So if I want to enlarge this one, I would just click this grips here, click and see it enlarges. What I'm doing here is I'm not drawing exact, okay? I'm just drawing it visually how I, how I want to see it, okay? So I'm not really drawing precise here, okay? Okay, so now this one's a good one too, the infinite line, or in AutoCAD, I think they call it ray, okay? So click on infinite line, so this is just like a guide, okay? So it needs two points. So this is the starting point, and then I go for this. Okay. So the the infinite line is really infinite. Like if I zoom out, it's infinite, right? So that's just my guide. But later on, I'm going to delete that. Okay. So now I'm just going to just gonna zoom in here. Okay. 
okay so maybe I'll just pan like that okay so what I need is another circle here so I click on circle uh, there okay if I want to move objects I just click and then move it there Ooh. okay so this is not it's snapping to the center so what I can do I can make this bigger there and then I can move this by using the grip okay so I click here and then I'll move there it doesn't move so what I'll do here is I'm going to turn off my snaps first here there 